Hello Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, today we're going to focus on your past, present, as well as your future for the next seven days for Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus. All right, the cards are ready to go, so I guess we'll just start now. So far, so good, Cancer. So far, so good. Yeah, you got a good uh, spread out here. So uh, let's focus on the recent past, Cancer, with the Seven of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles to the Emperor coming out here. We do have the Empress over here. So it is a true pair situation here between you and this person. Currently at the moment, you could very well be finding yourself connecting with somebody that you're very compatible with, or you're going to find yourself connecting with this person very, very soon. But let's get started. In the recent past, Cancer, it kind of looks like you were very focused on your finances, your career, your growth, your expansion, things of that nature. For some of you, you could have recently received a promotion. I am definitely getting that. For others of you, you could have definitely decided to start a business for yourself. But it kind of looks like, again, in the past, you were just very focused on you, your finances, your career, your growth, your expansion. Again, for some of you, you could have recently received a promotion or possibly even a raise at work. Now, currently at the moment, we do have the Four of Swords as well as the King of Cups to the Nine of Cups. This is kind of like an overall energy of you kind of feeling like you're finally ready to put yourself out there. You're finally ready to meet somebody. You're finally ready to allow love in your life because it kind of looks like in the past, you were kind of putting love on the back burner to kind of focus more so on yourself, your growth, the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself. So it kind of looks like you're just kind of at that stage in your life where you're very content with where you're at uh, career-wise, business-wise. However, what's missing in your life is basically love, somebody that you can share your life with. So it kind of looks like, again, you're finally ready to start putting yourself out there, uh, possibly meet someone new, so that way you can start building towards a life here with someone. Now, it kind of looks like as you're putting yourself out there, Cancer, and you might decide to do this very, very soon, but as you're putting yourself out there, um, you kind of have this energy of, I hope I find the one, but if I don't, that's okay, because I kind of feel like you've just become accustomed to being single and alone. Now, it's not that you want to be single and alone. I just kind of feel like you've become so accustomed to being single and alone that you're perfectly fine with that, but you would m much rather prefer, right, to have somebody in your life, and it kind of looks like you're going to meet this empress over here very very soon like i said for some of you you could already be uh, connecting with this empress or you might find yourself connecting with this empress very very soon but i do want to look at this empress a little bit more whoever this empress is they kind of come off to me as somebody who brings just as much to the table as you do so you're going to find yourself dealing with somebody of your caliber which is a really nice sign um this person is just as motivated just as ambitious as you are this empress comes off to me as somebody who currently has a lot going for themselves they might be a single mom or a single dad because I am kind of getting that. But when you do meet this empress, you're going to instantly hit it off here with them. You're going to instantly realize how compatible you actually are to this empress in particular. But let's look at this empress a little bit more. Tell me more about this empress. You could very well be meeting a Libra soon, possibly a Taurus soon. Tell me more about this empress. Okay. So we do have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Judgment card as well as the Ten of Wands. This Empress comes off to me as somebody who currently has a lot on their plate. Like I said, uh, this person could very well be a single mother or a single father. If this person doesn't have... Um, children i do kind of feel like there's a lot of people in their life that really does rely and depend on them is kind of what i'm getting off of this person's overall energy but with the knight of cups to the judgment card coming out here i kind of feel like this person has tried to kind of put the, themselves out there but it kind of looks like they were kind of you know attracting a lot of people that weren't of their caliber that didn't necessarily want anything serious you know things of that nature so although yes this is somebody who does want love in their life i don't feel like they're making it a priority or anything like that to find the one for them is kind of what I'm getting. They're, they're kind of falling into this overall energy now of, you know what, if love shows up for me, then it does. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You know what I mean? I have other, other things to kind of focus on or other things to kind of worry about. Again, this person might have like children or just family members that really do rely and depend on them because I kind of feel like there's a lot of people that rely and depend on them. Let's look at the four of wands. Tell me more about the four of wands. Okay, 
All right, so this empress in particular, Cancer, is going to be somebody who's going to capture your complete and undivided attention. They're going to really stick out to you like a sore thumb is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, I kind of feel like you're going to find yourself physically attracted. Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to find yourself very physically attracted to uh, this empress in particular, but they're going to stick out to you like a sore thumb. And I do see you feeling really drawn to them and their overall energy. I do see you very, very curious about them and, you know, wanting to get to know them, you know, things of that nature. Let's look at the sun. I like where this is going, you guys. Tell me more about the sun. Okay. All right, so we do have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Four of Cups to the Death card. You know what's interesting is that you guys are very similar in your ways, believe it or not. You guys are very both career-oriented. You guys are very both ambitious people. You're kind of coming into the dating scene like, you know what, I really hope I find the one, but if I don't, it is what it is, you know? But they're kind of like harnessing that same old energy as well, where yes, they want love in their life, but if, you know, they find it, then they find it. If they don't, then they don't. It is what it is. They have other things to kind of worry about is kind of what I keep getting here off of this Empress. But with the Eight of Cups to the Four of Cups, that creates another Four of Cups at play. It's interesting because I feel like the both of you are kind of walking into this relationship with one another, not really anticipating or expecting for anything, you know, amazing to come out of this entire situation. But it kind of looks like that's exactly what's going to end up happening, which is interesting because Aquarius actually got this same message but I actually posted that reading on my second channel called Milagros Tarot Plus. You can look on the um community center here on my YouTube channel and you'll see the Aquarius reading um, that I posted on my second YouTube channel. But any, anyways, back to the message, right? It's like you guys are both walking into this relationship with one another, not really anticipating or expecting for anything, you know, amazing to transpire here between you and this person. But it kind of looks like that's exactly what's going to end up happening here. Not only are you guys going to instantly hit it off here with one another, but I do see the two of you eventually ending up in higher levels of commitment here with one another. I want to kind of look a little bit more into how this entire situation is going to unfold, though, between you and this person. What else can you tell me about cancer and this person? That they're going to find themselves meeting very, very soon. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Judgment card, and then we also have the Three of Pentacles. So you guys, the Ace of Pentacles is attached to the Ten of Pentacles, which speaks of a committed relationship between two people full of abundance and instability. I feel like that's exactly what the two of you are going to end up creating with one another. A very long-term committed relationship with one another full of abundance and stability. There's definitely a lot of potential here between you and this person and you're going to see it, but so are they. You guys are going to come together very, very soon if you guys haven't already. And the overall energy of the two of you wanting to build with one another is definitely going to be there. In other words, you're going to want to build with this person. This person's going to want to build with you, my friend, is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are going to end up in a relationship together. Now, keep in mind, the four wands, it can totally speak of marriage. So there's a possibility that this could very well be the person that you end up getting married to. Um, of course, that all depends on whether or not marriage is something that you believe in, Cancer, or not. Because I know that there's some people out there that don't necessarily believe in marriage, but for those of you who do, the potential is definitely there. But like I said, this is somebody that you're going to want to build with and this is somebody who's going to want to build with you. All right, what else can you tell me? I kind of feel like the both of you are going to be extremely shocked, though, by this connection and the way things unfold here between you and them. Because again, it's like you guys are both walking into this relationship with one another like, eh, whatever happens, happens. If it leads to something serious, then it does, you know. Things of that nature. What else can you tell me? All right. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles as well as the King of Wands. And then we also have the Six of Cups. Before I open my mouth, I do want to look at the Six of Cups for whatever odd reason. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Temperance card. And then we also have the Ten of Cups. You know what's interesting? You know what's interesting, Cancer, is that I kind of see you, how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? There's like an overall energy of you comparing this person to someone from your past, okay? Now, this person that you're comparing this Empress slash Queen of Pentacles to, it feels like somebody that you were in a long-term committed relationship with. Um, I feel like this, this, this Queen of Pentacles slash um, Empress, they're very, very different from your ex. 
Uh, and I kind of feel like that's something that you really do love and appreciate um, because they're so different from your ex. Maybe you and your ex had a very toxic and unhealthy relationship with one another. But one thing that I am kind of getting is that you're comparing this emperor slash queen of pentacles to somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with. It could have been somebody that you had a child with. Um, it could have been somebody that you spent many years with. But they're very, very different from your ex. And I feel like that's one thing that you really do love um, about this emperor is how different they actually are compared to your ex. I feel like you're actually going to realize very, very quickly that this is the person that you want to build with. This is the person that you actually want to be with. But I kind of feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that this empress is checking off everything that you want within a person is kind of what I'm getting. And the fact that they're just so different from your ex is just like a bonus in your eyes. Because it kind of looks like you made it a priority to not get with somebody who's like your ex ever again is kind of what I'm getting. So the fact that they're so different from your ex is like a bonus in your eyes. But I feel like you're going to realize very, very quickly that this is a person that you actually want to build with. All right. So it kind of looks like this entire situation here, Cancer, between you and this person, it's going to unfold nicely. I feel like it's going to leave the both of you extremely shocked and surprised. Because again, it's like you guys are both walking into this relationship, not really anticipating or expecting for anything serious to happen here between you and them but it kind of looks like things are going to get serious here between you and this person all right okay cancer let's see what we got here for you okay so we do have free yourself and then we also have forgiving and learning remember when i said that you know you're comparing this person uh from someone that you were once upon a time romantically involved with well you're gonna you're gonna find out for yourself that this person is nothing like your ex so with that being said i feel like spirit is asking you to kind of leave the past in the past um and, and try your hardest and try your hardest cancer to not allow this past experience that you went through with this ex of yours to affect you within this relationship that you share here with this person because again it's like you're walking into this entire situation trying to make sure that this empress is nothing like your ex but i feel like you're gonna find out that they're not anything uh like your ex which is gonna be a bonus in your eyes but spirit is basically asking you hey like try your hardest to not allow this past experience to affect you within this connection that's showing up here for you because for one they are very very different from your ex and then well for two this is somebody that is definitely a soulmate of yours. This is somebody that you're definitely compatible with. Uh, this is also somebody of your caliber, which is really, really nice to see because, again, it's like this person's bringing just as much to the table as you are. Maybe in a previous relationship, you were bringing far more to this table than your person was. Maybe you were doing far more than this person was. It just kind of looks like you're going to find yourself in a very balanced and equal give and take relationship, which might be a whole new experience for you because you probably didn't necessarily have that in your previous relationship. It, but just trust the fact that things are going to unfold really, really nicely here between you and this person. I don't feel like neither one of you are going to see this coming, to be completely honest. It's kind of what I'm getting primarily, Cancer. But it kind of looks like things are about to get really, really good here uh, for you, especially between you and this person. Um, is concerned. Like I said, you could currently find yourself connecting with this person or you might find yourself connecting with them very, very soon. Kind of feel like for the vast majority of you, you're going to find yourself connecting with them very, very soon. So maybe you haven't met them just yet. But once you do, you're going to realize how compatible you actually are to this person and well, vice versa, you know, but I do kind of feel like eventually things are going to get serious here between you and this person. All right. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Good luck to the both of you and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.